Um, I judge people all the time. <laughs> I judged working moms. Why do you have to leave every night by this certain time? Why aren't you married? Now that you have a baby, are you going to get married? I will never let my kid do that. My kid will never, <laughs> will never misbehave in a restaurant. I think I'm desensitized almost because people talk about whether or not I breastfeed or bottle feed so much. A lot of the choices that I make for my baby, I have to fight for it. So when I see someone doing the opposite, I definitely find myself judging them. It's very easy to be judgmental of others. And I think that's why people are judgmental because it, it really is easy. Nebulizer. Tablet instruction. Oh, sorry. I was very judgmental before I was a parent. I was the one who would give moms with crying babies the dirtiest look, and then I would even say things inappropriate. I said, God, they gotta control their kids, you know, really loud, like to their parents. My OBGYN was asking what the situations would be like after the baby's born, and I told him with, with our lifestyle, we do need to put him in daycare when he's two months. And he got a little sad. He told me, if you're my wife, I would much rather for you to stay home and not miss any bonding moment with the little kid. I know, I know, I know, day. I know. I love you. I know, I know. Good morning. Do you want to go play with your friends? I'm the only woman in my department. Granted, there are three guys who has kids. They're still men. So pumping and doing all this stuff at work, I got to be more discreet about it. I don't want pumping to be an excuse for me to not perform well at work. A lot of the people that I've encountered will make a comment such as, oh, that's breast milk, right? Do I say, it's not, but I really tried and I feel really bad about it, but thanks for bringing it up. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, almost, um, it's almost a conversation that you have to have with a stranger. Because they were preemies, our first three weeks were spent in the hospital and I wasn't sure if I should hold them, I wasn't sure if I should let them sleep. My confidence just flew out the window and I really was scared and nervous. Then I got home and I wasn't able to produce enough breast milk. And as a mother who was intending to breastfeed, that's obviously a, a very stressful situation and something that you take very personally. I am very critical of myself. I still, every day, believe that I could do this better. I could be better. When I was pregnant, I did notice quite a few people would kind of look at my belly and then look at my ring finger because I guess they just assumed, you know, if there's a pregnant woman, she should be married. Are you going to miss mommy? Are you going to miss mommy? I am about to go back to work. She's going to be going to a sitter, which thankfully is my grandmother. I know. I love you. <laughs> and I kind of feel that People shouldn't judge. I mean, no one knows my situation, and no one's going to be able to pay my bills for me if I were to stay home. If not going back to work <laughs> were something that I could do, I would absolutely do it. I'd stay home with her. We had some difficulties getting pregnant, and we had a couple of losses. So it took us a while to celebrate our pregnancy. And four years ago, there was a lump in my breast. I did have a lumpectomy. So when I realized that I couldn't breastfeed, it was a complete devastation. I was really hard on myself because I couldn't give her what I felt she needed from me. All the time I get judged for having two under two. People ask me if the second one was planned. Was I using protection? I mean, people really want to know my sexual history with m my husband. They really have something to say about how close they are in age. And people all the time will say, how are you managing? I'm doing it. Other people do it. As a pediatrician, I don't have the time to create a theme for my nursery. So I judge that, and I feel that everybody who does that, it's ridiculous. So I love this, these christening cakes, especially this one. Perfect. And it's just so sweet. It's not too ornate. It's no. kind of simple. And oh my god, an old blue? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I found out I was having a boy, and I was beyond thrilled. Where's Mommy's ah. little man? Here he is. Ah. I had my little girl in, you know, her little tutus and, you know, took all the newborn pictures with pearls. And now I got the opportunity to do the opposite. 
putting him in little bow ties. And when we took his newborn pictures, we had him in daddy's mitt. It's a compromise for me to say he's a boy, he's a he. I wanted to raise a, a gender neutral child. We're not a fan of clothing with phrases on it, especially things like handsome department or daddy's little boy or mommy's prince charming. But I will dress him in rainbow clothes. <laughs> When I first arrived and saw the moms, I definitely judged them. They're so pretty, they must not be nice. Which is totally ridiculous, but that was like something left over from middle school, I think. We saw our baby for the first time at six weeks. We announced it a little bit too soon, and uh, we lost our baby at 10 weeks. And this was at 10 weeks, uh, where you could see a baby fully formed. I judged you, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I saw there was a bottle, and then I saw there was powder. I feel ashamed for judging you, um, especially hearing your pregnancy loss story, um, because even though I can understand about the formula, I understand what it's like to lose a baby and how part of your soul is always missing from your body. Getting to know them and getting to know their stories and finding out how many commonalities we've had and, and the struggles we've had, I just feel a lot more compassion and empathy towards them and myself. We can be a sisterhood and we can support one another. It's possible. I judged Dawn a little bit because of the whole gender thing. I definitely thought it was a little, I would say, extreme. But it doesn't matter what other people think is right or wrong. It's up to you. If Jack says, Mom, I don't want this bow tie, I want a tutu, I'll be like, great, your sister has a whole closet full. <laughs> you know, go take your pick. There's nothing more satisfying to hear from another mom than you're a great mom. You know, you're doing a wonderful job. That's sometimes all you need to hear.